Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Wow, unbelievable. According to ESPN, De La Hoya said there's no fight. Triple G didn't like the 42.5% deal offered by Canelo and Golden Boy. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work. Shout out to ESPN. This is the latest regarding the deal offer slash deadline from Golden Boy to Team Golovkin in order to make this particular fight. Dan Rayfield, ESPN, says, Just spoke to Oscar De La Hoya on the Canelo Triple G deadline. Golovkin didn't take the deal. No fight. There is no fight, De La Hoya told ESPN. We want the fight. Tom Loeffler wants the fight. Clearly, the only person here who doesn't want the fight is Triple G. The fans want the fight. We've been over backwards. We've come up, and there's no budge from him, so there's no fight. 100%, there is no fight. And then literally a minute after Oscar and I hung up, one of his people called me back and said, hold up, there's literally a Hail Mary deal idea. They are trying to see if they can get Triple G to take. So sit tight. So more politics, but listen, I can't even understand why Golovkin wouldn't accept the 42.5% deal. Most fans that I've seen from the past videos where I introduced the deal on my channel said they believe that was fair. We know he's not getting 50-50. He already said he's willing to budge from 50-50. So I don't know what he's really truly expecting. Did he expect 45 to 48% since he's budging from 50-50? I, I just don't understand. But it seems a little bit redundant to be arguing over 2-3% when there's no middleweight that either guy but especially Golovkin. And the reason I say especially is because he's not the A-side. He's not an A-side draw. Canelo can fight other options and still make a shit ton of money. Golovkin, he has options for good fights where he can make good money, but not money like Canelo because Canelo is, him and Anthony Joshua are like the biggest stars in boxing. You get what I'm saying? So Canelo has a plethora of different options and routes he can go to make a sizable payday. Golovkin, this is the biggest payday. The fans want it. It's a rematch. I told you, I don't want to do all this back and forth. And hopefully they make the fight. I don't know if this Hail Mary idea is. I don't know if this is just suspense to, to build up the fight. But according to De La Hoya, in the first conversation with ESPN, 100%, there's no deal. There's no fight. Because Triple G, who's in Russia, I guess turned down the 42.5%. So there's... I guess extending some other additional offer to see if he wants it. I can't imagine either party, if they can't see eye to eye, spending too too much time because if you have an event, you have to promote it and the fighters got to get in training camps. I'll keep you guys posted. That's the latest. Shout out to ESPN. Let me know if Triple G should have taken the 42.5% or if you think this is just theatrics to, to help put something out in the public and help build the rematch with the turmoil and the drama. I know you guys like drama. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.